Hi everyone and welcome to today's short video testing the dry time uh, of inks on this paper from Helen McLean Leather Goods and Stationery. So uh, obviously this is a beautiful B6 leather cover um, and she also makes some notebooks um, using Austrian paper as a B6 notebook, uh, 64 ultra smooth 90 GSM paper, fountain pen friendly is how it's listed. Now in the review, um, I showed uh, this test page where I showed a bunch of different inks, um, different styles of pen and things like that. Um, and uh, one sort of comment I made was that like, sometimes a little bit sort of comes through like when the ink is particularly well sort of primed. Uh, but other than that, we get a little bit of ghosting and show through, but nowhere near as much as a lot of other brand um like here's another page of i write out lyrics to shows that i'm in um you can see that sort of nothing comes through on any of that like you can easily write on both sides um of this paper it's good like it's kind of um it's it's fountain pen friendly um you know for sort of standard inks and pens and all that kind of stuff and if you're using big wet pens that like put down huge amounts of ink um you might yeah you'll get a little bit of bleeding but for everyday use i think this is okay but what i wanted to show was some dry times so i've taken three different inks here um robert oster peppermint a two second swipe where it was still wet and then by 20 seconds it was dry same thing happened here with Ackermann Simplistis Violet two seconds wet 20 seconds dry and Monteverde Olivine uh two seconds wet 20 seconds dry so I kind of put this in like these kinds of inks on paper uh, paper like Tom or River tend to uh still be slightly wet at the 20 second mark this is slightly more absorbent paper than things like Rhodia or Tom or River. There, this isn't a coat of paper. It's very, very smooth and it's of a relatively high weave, uh, but it is not a coated paper, which is why the ink sort of soak in just a little bit more uh, and we lose some of the shading and sheen because it is an absorbent paper as opposed to a coated paper where so the ink doesn't dry on the top of it. And is also why, you know, if the ink, when it, pen is particularly wet, or the ink is particularly aggressive, you might get just a little bit coming through. But I wanted to do a live sort of a test of the dry time here. I have a Laban Solar, nice little simple pen. Uh, and in this I have a Dymine Syra. <coughs> so let me just write that. You can see as I'm writing that it's putting down quite a wet line, but you can you can actually see it drying as we go. And you can kind of see it absorbing in just a little bit. This pen is slightly wet, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to use it for this video. So um, we'll do a two second, um, then a 10 second, and then 20 second. And if we need to do that beyond that, we can have a look. So this is the two second. Let's try that again. So dry time, exceptionally quick on this paper. Like, let's try a 10. Not even 10 seconds, it's almost completely dry. So you can see the dry time on this paper is very quick because it absorbs in. If we look at the reverse of this, we'll see where I've put down these heavier dots of ink. It's coming through. Other than that, like the writing itself, like I said, particularly primed and things like that, you might get a little bit sort of coming through. Um, for everyday sort of standard pen use, this paper performs well. Dry time is quick. The colors on the look good. There's just no, there's not as much shading or sheen. Um, but for everyday use, as I said, like I use it here for writing out the lyrics to my shows and you can see it performs well. Like only a few spots where like I've gone over lines again and things like that have kind of come through. Otherwise you can use both sides of this paper. For the most part, if you're using sort of, as I said, standard fountain pens with standard inks, nothing too wet, nothing too broad, nothing too sort of gushy, this paper performs well. So I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you've got a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your paper and I'll talk to you soon.